Want to learn engineering and science? Well, you've tuned in to the right channel. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and we'll be continuing with our lecture series on shear forces and pending moments. And in this part, that is part 2, we're going to be talking about pending moments in particular. So, to understand pending moment, we first need to learn what exactly moment means. Whenever you turn something, you need a force and of course a pivot. Well, if you try to push further away from the pivot, then you're able to turn the object more easily. Therefore, we need a parameter to describe this kind of an activity. This is where moment comes into the picture. Well, mathematically, moment is just a product of force applied and the perpendicular distance from the pivot. You can also say that a moment represents the effectiveness of a force in rotating, bending or even twisting an object. If you think of a door, you can either open or close the door with far less effort if you apply the force far away from the hinge than if you apply the force close to the hinge. Now let's take a look at bending moment. So it's a moment which tends to cause some item to bend. Okay. For example, if Johnny Bravo sits at the end of a tree branch, he's causing it to bend, obviously. The branch will bend downwards and may even break if Johnny is too heavy. So essentially, if you move closer to the tree, you are reducing the lever arm of your weight. Hence, the bending moment reduces. The branch is then better able to support your weight with minimum deflection and it is less likely to break. Let's have one more example. Imagine a thin plank of wood resting on a brick at each end. This is similar to a simply supported beam. Now, imagine a child standing on the plank. It bends, but it does not break. Therefore, the bending moment due to the child is being resisted by the plank. However, if the bulky Johnny Bravo stood on the plank, it may break at the center. This is due to the bending moment being too great for the plank to resist. That is the physical significance of bending moment. Why does the plank break at the center and not somewhere else? This is due to the bending moment distribution pattern, which is maximum at the center of a simply supported beam. So guys, that was all about shear forces and bending moments in a very general way. In the upcoming lectures, we're going to be discussing about what exactly a beam is, what are the different types of beams and how we can calculate shear forces and bending moments in different conditions for different beams. So stay tuned.